Butterflies and this video is gonna be my October wrap up. So in the month of October I read seven books and I DNF one but I'm gonna do that one last. So the first book that I read in October was Nevermore by Kelly Creek and this was a reread and I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. Now the first time I read this I was not playing. I gave it 5 stars. The only reason I took a 0.5 off and it's I think my mind was just looking for something that was wrong with it since I loved it so much the first time it's like this is the second time something got to be wrong I really 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 had it like it was irritating because I really realized how they spelled her name like how they would pronounce her name like her name is Isabel instead of Isabel like it's spelled like I-Z-O instead of like I-S-S-A so I want to say Isabel but it was annoying me that the pronunciation was Isabel that even her nickname was Izzo and it was like so irritating to me and I was like why the hell didn't this bother me the first time I read this book I don't know why I really think my mind was just looking for something that was wrong since I just I loved it so much but if you don't know Nevermore is a fantasy series what well, YA fantasy and it's about this you know high school popular cheerleader you know princess type girl her name is Isabel and she ends up being paired with the emo goth kid and his name is Varen and she he's like the weirdest kid like part of the weird group you know no one wants to really partner with him and she feels like it's gonna hurt her reputation and it just starts <laughs> It just starts a whole bunch of drama. They're paired together for their school assignment. They're supposed to be doing a report. They decide to do their report on Edgar Allan Poe. And she realized that she really did get more than what she was bargained for. While she's partnered with Varen, you know, she starts to, you know, lose friends, lose boyfriends. She starts to feel like she's being an outcast. But then she starts to realize how not important, how much not how much <laughs> all that was not important to her to begin with because she ended up finding real true friends it's like drama goes down guys it is so good but the best part about this book is that while they're working on this Edgar Allan Poe assignment they're like being dragged into the world of Edgar Allan Poe like his poems and his stories it's like they're coming to life like they're like they come to life from like a whole different dimension and they're like dragged to that world on and off and it is so it's just that is amazing now i kind of liked edgar Allan poe before reading this book like i used to love when school like in school time a lot of schools like they went to halloween time to kind of bring edgar Allan poe up so i would love that time because i really loved his creepiness like his creepy points my favorite is the telltale heart that is my favorite one so much i don't know why but that is like my favorite one and it's like reading this really made me love him more because I'm like, okay, yes, I love him more. So I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I definitely recommend this book, okay? Guys, after I read this book, now I had checked out the whole series from the library because I never continued with the series. I always just read the first book and then I started reading other stuff. So I, my plan was in September I was supposed to series read and it didn't happen. So it really didn't hurt me. But in October, I was like, still, Halloween is spooky, so let's do it. I realized doing this how bad I am at binging a series it didn't happen okay it did not happen um I started reading in shadow but then I stopped which is the second book I stopped though and started reading other stuff and I ended up bringing everything back to the library because I'm like I'm not good at binge reading a series I just didn't feel like reading it so I'm probably gonna end up picking it up later but not right now like I'm terrible I thought I could just binge through the series and I can't I'm not good at it sorry the second book that I read in October was a short story and it's called Strangers at a Funeral by P.T. Frank. I'm not sure that how you pronounce the name, but I'm just going to go with it. And I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. I hated this. Okay, now look. It, it had a really good summary and it sounded like it was going to be so great and creepy. And, okay, it's like it was 49 or 48 pages, so it was literally a short story. It wasn't nothing, anything long, you know? And I've just been craving short stories lately, so I was excited because this has been sitting on my Kindle for a while. I was excited to read this. And it's basically centered around this boy. He ends up noticing that the same two, like, type of people are at every kind of funeral. They stand in the back of the funeral, and they're at everyone's funeral. And he wants to know why and what are they doing what do they do and why they're there you know no one knows who they are it's like these strange like almost bodyguard type men like you know like they have on the black jackets 
they have on black glasses, you know, everything, long sleeve, everything like to be like incognito. And he's he ends up noticing because I think his his um grandma, his dad, and his mom dies, and he realizes that they are at all of the funerals. And it's like, well, why are you here? And so it's supposed to be him trying to figure out why are they there. And I just I didn't like it one thing is because it was very vague like the ending itself was very vague I was so confused I'm like what the hell is going on like what is the problem and it's like my answer never I still don't know what the hell they were doing at these at these funerals like I'm so confused if so much went on like the last three pages like so much stuff and still no answers and it was just kind of like mixed up and jumbled up and it's confusing and I'm like wait what the hell what is happening what is going on it's like I think it needed definitely needed some more ironing out and some more clearing out and then not only that I know it's a short story so things are supposed to move fast and that is the benefit of reading a short story because you don't have to wait through 300 pages for drama and everything to happen it starts to, it's supposed to move fast it was just very underwhelming for me like I did not enjoy it I was very disappointed by it because I just I mean I need some more explaining like I don't need a whole hundred uh, extra hundred pages but I need some more details in the short story and it just was not working the third book that I read in October was a graphic novel and that is Deadpool volume one secret invasion by Daniel Way and I gave this four out of five stars this was the first time I read anything about um, Deadpool, to be honest. Like, I knew who he was, like, before, but I never read anything about him. I have not even seen the movie, okay? Guys, like, I really enjoyed this graphic novel. I really enjoyed it. It definitely makes me a fan of Deadpool because it was just so lighthearted. Like, it wasn't as serious as other um, comic books and graphic novels are with other superheroes, you know, it had that very serious tone set. He was just so funny. Like, he... Like, he just made a joke out of everything that made you laugh. It made you just, like, relax and even forget the situations that he was in. Like, you almost died. And, like, you were laughing about it. So, I really enjoyed reading that about him. It was so much fun. I was like, fucking right. He is so cool. He is definitely one of my favorite, like, superheroes. Like, I'm down with him. Like, he is cool as shit. And I would, like, I think I could hang out with Deadpool. I mean, I don't know too many people that said I think I could do it. Because it seems, it just seems like so much freaking fun. You know? Just, I just... I loved it. So you guys should definitely go read it. I also read another graphic novel. It's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 Cosmic Adventures by Brian Michael Bendis. I think that's what it is. But I gave that one a 5 out of 5 stars. And oh my god. This is another one that I'm very new to. That I was a virgin to. I have never read anything for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I have not watched any of the movies. I think there's two movies. Are there two movies? But I haven't seen the movie at all. So I really knew nothing about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. And oh my god. Like this was so good. I like this. Like I like the action. I liked like at the beginning. It was kind of like almost kind of like adult content. It was, reading this graphic novel was just like watching a movie. I feel like reading this, I have watched a movie. Like, I love, like, the love-hate relationships that was going on. I loved all the drama and the action. And, oh my God, I loved, I loved the little, um, the little raccoon thing. Like, I can't remember his name. That always was, like, you know, with group. And, oh my God, I love him. Like, he was, <laughs> he could be my home dog. Like, he, we could roll together. Like, we could go whatever. We could do whatever, you guys. Like, I loved him. He could be my pet. He was awesome. Like, <laughs> he had me in here dying i was like oh he's so cute he got a little short man syndrome that was just so cute so if you guys have not read the guardians of the galaxy i definitely recommend it because it's a light-hearted read even though it has a lot of action and it is you know have some kind of you know sad parts that's like oh you know it's really sad it's still very good and it's very entertaining so you guys should definitely go and check it out and i do want to go and watch the movie now after reading that and then I also read um, The Senior Season by Tom Pereira. Pereira. I don't know how to say his last name. But I did give this a 5 out of 5 stars and it was a short story. Um, it was a short story but it also had a sneak peek into his um, next book. I can't remember what the name of it is but I definitely added it to my to read because it sounded so good. I think it's like The Vanishing. Or the disappearances something like that it's one of those but it was so freaking good senior season was like a really great 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 short story and i think that should set the standard for a lot of short stories i'm not saying it's the best one 
but it was so good to me like i really enjoyed it like it did everything for me that a short story should do it gave me all the details that i needed it gave me just the right amount of time that i needed it freaking you know got me into knowing who the characters were in this short story to where like i felt connected to the characters it was just so good i got invested in the situation that was going on in the short story if y'all like get what i'm trying to say like i really really enjoyed it so singing season is about now i don't remember the character's name even though i really was emotionally invested i don't remember their names but it's about this guy he's like a football player he was like you know kind of in like the popular group and he was dating this cheerleader and then something happened to where he got into an accident and playing one of his games and he had um, a concussion and his mother didn't think he was ready to play anymore that he needed to take a break because she didn't feel like he was healed all the way so his last season that he would be able to play as a senior he wasn't able to play and it shows his downfall about how he started to be depressed and how he started to feel like he wasn't accepted into his friends or and the drama that he had with his girlfriend that he felt like she was hold, like he felt like he was holding her back and it was just it was emotional even i was like sitting in high school i kind of under and i was nowhere in his position i feel like i understood him you know me being like out of high school i haven't been out that long so i'm still kind of like close i graduated in 2014 so it's not haven't been that long so i still feel you know close to the fact that he was in high school and all this happened he was a senior so he really felt like his life was going downhill and he didn't know what to do anymore because what he was doing that was his life that was everything and now he felt like he can't even participate in that you know it was really it was good okay now i really 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 i would really recommend this if you guys are looking for some short stories like I, it wasn't that i don't even know if it was 100 pages i don't know if it was even 100 pages now i think after that he added that extra part the sneak peek into his um next book i think that that made it over 100 pages but that was a sneak peek into the next book and it wasn't a short story it was a book book so i think he had like three chapters from that book in there at the end but senior season itself is not very long so you guys and it's you can read that in one sitting i did you guys should definitely go check it out because it's really good it's some, i think if you're in a reading swamp it's something that'll get y'all because it's short and it's quick you know and and just in case you don't want to do the graphic novel thing when you're in a reading slump, i think this is really good to do in a reading slump. and the last book that i read in october is twice as nice by marie carnay and i gave this three out of five stars now this is a short story erotica read so if y'all turn y'all nose down in erotica y'all might as well just say goodbye to the video and i'll see y'all later but if y'all are kind of open to erotica which this wasn't really to me erotica this was really average and i gave it three out of five stars because it was really average and what and i'm mad right now because of the book that i read after this and i'm gonna get to that i'm like pissed off at the book that i didn't have because of this book so this book if I was, I don't remember the character's name this one either, but if I was this woman, she decides to move from the city to this little country town, I think it's Mill Creek or something like that. She moves she, to this little country quiet town because she's leaving, running away from her ex that uh, she was going, her ex-boyfriend that was, he started just being an asshole and she just said, fuck it, I'm done and I'm going to live you know quietly away from everybody just me to hell with men okay well she moves to this little town in mill creek in this little house that really needs some renovating so she calls this construction company well carpenters and they because she fell through a hole on her back porch so they come to really work on the porch but they are used to sharing women as well and they figure well she sounds really cute on the phone you know maybe she's into us and one one of the guys are like no maybe she's not everybody's not into two guys you know whatever whatever and the other friends like well, we'll find out they go to work on her porch and then she's like oh they are both so fine it was just really cliche to me okay let's say that she's like oh they're both so fine and it's like they are like making hints at her making passes at her taking their shirts off to see if she's interested and then they just come out one of them comes out and say you know we like to share you know whatever and let her think about that so then she was like it was just i was just like really while well, i was reading this but anyway i continued reading and they end up setting up this little date to get their little thing on you know menage a trois and i'm just like i was not 
thrilled with the sex scenes. I was just like, whatever. Like, it was like, <laughs> it was like reading, like, just something so amateur. Like, it was just, now I'm no one to call Arthur an amateur, but I mean, like, reading these sex scenes was like, I don't know, it wasn't nothing professional, you know? It was just like low budget, like a low budget movie. That's what it was like reading these sex scenes. I'm like, this is not, because I was really in the mood to read something really spicy, you know, I was really, I was really in the mood to, like, read something hot and steamy, and it's like, this just was like, like, it was average, it didn't really do anything for me, and I'm like, she didn't, she didn't, like, try to refuse this or anything, like, you never, you saying you never had two men at the same time, and you're still worried about it, yet you not, you didn't question this, you know, not one time, so it's like, this isn't even realistic, like a realistic person will question this and never did anything like that. They would question this for a while. She just was like the next day, let's do it. I just was not overwhelmed with it and I would not recommend it. So then I carried on to go and read a second book that I had got. And to be honest, I really thought I spent my money for these books. This was on my Kindle. I think they was like 99 cents or something when I bought them before. I think this was like when I first, first got my Kindle because they were at the bottom of the books on my Kindle. Or something. It was like when I first, first got it. I was like, well, that sounds good. Well, I didn't even get past the first page of the second book that I read from her. It's called um, Too Close for Comfort and it's by the same author. I DNF this. I couldn't get past the first book. I started to read the summary for it because I can't remember what it was about, you know. And it's like the exact same summary as Twice as Nice. Just the characters were changed and the setting was changed. But it was the exact same thing. Girl is running away from whatever relationship she was with and then she meets these two guys that conveniently always share women and she just does it without a question and she goes ahead and do it. And it's it was just like, this is the exact same book. All you did was change the character's name and you changed the setting. And I'm like, are you serious? And then I started reading the first page. So I'm like, this is very similar to the first page as Twice as Nice. And I was like, are you kidding me? I, like, I really got pissed off. I just got out of it. I deleted it. I was like, I'm mad. I wasted my 99 cents on this because this is bullshit. This is the exact same book as Twice as Nice. All you did was change the characters and the settings. But it's the exact same people. It's the exact same stuff. And I'm like, I was like highly upset. And I was like, there's no way. I was like, and that really made me start to hate Twice as Nice. I'm like, this is like a copy. It's like you just copied and pasted it and went and changed the names. Like, that is what you did. It was just... I was like, this is bullshit. I was like, damn, when I'm in the mood to read something spicy, I, I picked the wrong shit to read. And I'm like, this isn't it. <laughs> so I don't even recommend her. I'm banning her as an author. Because I'm like, you don't do that shit in your books. You don't copy the same shit you follow from your last book in this book and just change the characters. It's like, you getting paid to do nothing. You being paid to copy and paste. There's no way. I'm sorry, I'm banning her as an author, and I just, I don't recommend her as an author to read from, because especially if you're going to spend your money on the exact same book 20 times, which is different character names and different settings, and it's just, I, I can't do it, and I just ended my reading month off pissed off, like, I didn't even read the last, like, week and a half in October, I was just that mad, I was like, I'm just not in the mood to read now for the last, like, week and a half of the month, I was like, I'm not in the mood, I just want to watch TV and chill. That's how it was. I just, she fucked up my reading month because I just got that upset, you know? I just, anyway, because I can go on and talk about how pissed off she made me for hours, but we can't keep you here that long. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. That is all the books that I read this month. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. And then the last book that I read in October was Twice as Night. Twice as, oh my God.